What up, family? Get a news quarter man, Dash Twenty Man. The only today is Freaky Friday in the city of Chicago, December 9, 2022. Now, this is going out to uh, Alex Haley and his family or whoever, the guy that wrote Roots in 1977. After I became the originator of rap music at the age of eight in 1975. Now, in 1977, Alice Haley said that he was in debt up to his eyeballs in so many words. And, you know, he was struggling and thinking about suicide. Real talk. He was on his um, ocean liner or whatever and stuff. And he thought he was going, you know, jump into, a, into the water and just die. You understand what I'm saying? And he must have, you know, decided to sell his soul or whatever and sell me out and stuff. Real talk. Because, you know, if I'm the originator of rap music, which I am, you know, Mary Lee, you'll get a news reporter and originated rap music since the age of 1975, but more so than anything, I stood up for myself at the age of six in 1973 because I was a child abuse victim and stuff. So they knew they put me in Chicago Sun-Times newspaper, you know, me being an originator or original, you know, of my city, Chicago, you know, people came over here and invaded our land, okay, intruders and all skin folk ain't kin folk. You understand what I'm saying? So when they violate you, you understand what I'm saying? They work you to death, they use you up, and then they kill you. You understand? Because you are a witness. You know, and Mortal Chick Meek got a song called Dance with the Devil and stuff. Nothing happens in this world by mistake. If I got beat up uh, February the 10th, the same day that uh, Alex Haley allegedly died in 1992, you know, he's supposed to have died in 1992, February the 10th. And I got beat up, you know, by a game banger on Whole Man and Roosevelt at a Walgreens. They got it on camera, I'm sure. World star. You understand what I'm saying? The same day he posed to had died, February the 10th, when African colors doing Black History Month. The same jacket that I did my first ever YouTube video, Mary Mac versus the Fat Black Oprah Winfrey. I had that jacket on. I no longer have that jacket. I cut it up into a little bit of pieces, real quick and talk. Now, his name, Alex Haley, allegedly name is Alex Xander Murray Palmer Haley. Okay? Now, he was born August 11, 1921, before my mother, Mary Lee Wright, who was born, you know, August 9th, 1927. You understand what I'm saying? So he knew the game even before her. You understand what I'm saying? And people you know, trail the ones that they're trying to kill because they know it'll kill them if, you know, we find out what's going on. Real talk. And that's why they put me in this trap building, 6210 South Kimbark Avenue, Chicago North, 6637. And if you go to 1335 East 75th Street in my city, Chicago, you'll see a white door just like this door right here on my, you know, door. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. Because they trolling and cloning and they trying to get their money that rap generated i'm not the only one they coming after they coming after every original of the land native of the land and stuff because we are smart and we know what time it is and we're woke you understand what i'm saying now they had put me in a psych ward a long time ago it's 323 over here according to sony on my mama real talk but uh it's really 321 you understand what i'm saying but this is a couple of minutes fast or whatever and stuff so nothing happens in this world by mistake. I just thought I'd throw that in there. My mama allegedly supposed to have died March 23rd of 2000, you know, before enough money. Your own mama would kill you, too. Also, just like um, Biggie Small said in his song, Ten Crack Commandment, number uh, three, I think it was. Long story short, um, Eminem got a song, got a, uh, got a daughter named Haley, right? So Alex, you know, Haley... Name is Haley, right? And I, when I was in um, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, he put me in this place called Willow Glen Academy on Highland, you know, for so-called people that's retarded because they was trying to uh, discredit me long before, you know, I realized what time it is like right now and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. And I met this guy, a white guy named Alex, and he was trying to get me into demonic stuff. And, you know, they was trying to turn me bad so I can you know, be looked upon as a nobody in the future. So they was already planning my demise. And that's why in 2016, um, T.I. came out with Roots again, the movie. You understand what I'm saying? Because they studied trying to get that money and stuff real tough. Long story short, when I did my um, 
video on Eminem, and I said if you take the M off of Eminem, you know, he spelled it with M E M I N E M. If you take that M off and spell it backwards, because they like to come from behind and do stuff backwards, you got enemy. Real talk. You know, it's just a little play on words or whatever and stuff. So, you know, I'll put all the description in this video, but it all boils down to pedophilia and, you know, people standing up for themselves and not wanting to get fucked forever. You understand what I'm saying? And definitely not out of the money that I generated. I never got a new car to deal. I never got a day at the spa. I never had a real vacation, and they've been trying to kill me since forever. So you know how I do. Well, Mary McMyris, it is 323 now because over here is 325. Now... This is the 411. Mary J. Blige over here has got 411. Mary J. Blige, you know, she upstaged me and stuff. Everybody did. Everybody is in on it and stuff. But it's affecting everybody as well. Just like in the movie um, uh, The Color Purple. They said, your dead body be just what we need. So they was already talking through the airways, Oprah Winfrey, and I thought she was a friend but I because I didn't understand what was going on. So I gave her you know, my child abuse rap at the age of 17 in 1984. You understand what I'm saying? I gave her my story again in 1995 to the sound of music on three cassette tape with my voice added to it. And the Martin Luther King, I have a dream speech and stuff. And she was worth a half a billion dollars then. And all I asked was $2 million tax free and the rest could go to charity. But now, you know, we could have all been billionaires, you understand what I'm saying? But because they're trying to make a one word order and make that slavery shit come true. So they had to try to see what all we'll do. But y'all stopped fighting when it came to me. And that's where y'all fucked up at and shit. And now they're making a one word order. And we, nine times out of ten, might be slaves before it's over with. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not going to be no slave. I'd rather die real fucking tough. They try to give me a job. Job is a slave. You understand what I'm saying? Prison is slavery. You understand what I'm saying? Real tough. If you're not thinking, like you got common sense, you understand what I'm saying? That's slavery. If, if they programming your mind to hate me, slavery. Because you ain't you ain't thinking about what they're doing to you. See, whatever they do to me, they're going to do to you anyway. So even if I die, I'm going to be a problem. So this is what I do. Break the um balls and flip the Bible and you can figure out the rest. Who you are. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, Whitney Houston died the next day, allegedly, February 11th. Uh, 2011, you know, the day after, you know, I, you know, got my butt whooped or whatever and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? Um, I was staying at a shelter on the west side called Hope House. Real talk. And the police, no gangbanger that did what they did to me or whatever and didn't do anything. So that lets you know. And it was a Chinese police officer, man, and a black uh, man, police officer, and they see my eye was all messed up and stuff. They didn't arrest nobody. Everybody blamed me. And, you know, I guess when I die, we all die because that's my story. I'm sticking with it. So you can blame me all you want as long as I know I ain't going by myself. All right, here we go. Check it out. Now, this is the number two. It takes two to make a thing go right. Oh, my mama, real fucking talk. You understand what I'm saying? Which means deuces, motherfucker. Shit. Real fucking talk. I came out the blue to tell you, you know, who I am and what I'm about and what I stand for. You understand what I'm saying? That's the truth. You know, the blue gonna always win. But I was like, yeah, I'm trying to kill me. Eh? They tried to kill me in 2016, for real. Real talk. And gave me cancer, and that's where my hair is growing and stuff. So, you know, forgive me if I look like a guy, but well, that's just the way it is and shit. All right, now let's see what's up. This says right here, LaWanda was living two lives. See, what dropped? The number two. This is what I wrote. And she was a she-devil. Now, that was my ex-girlfriend, LaWanda George Jacobs. Supposed to have been a Jehovah Witness and all that. And you know what I'm saying? This is Proverbs part of 6. six. And seven, I was born in 1967. So, if this is six, let's just flip it and see what happens. Now, this is Malcolm X's birthday, 519, but this on page 591. Proverbs, we're going to do five, six. And I put right here, I was born in 1967. I got dirty red. You know, so you got a lot of home. I got the crown right here. 
Let's do four, five, six, and seven because this is the crown. They want the crown. And that's why I got it on my two. When I got this crown, you know, from the dentist, they asked me, you understand what I'm saying? You sure you want that? And I was like, yeah, you know, it's just, you know, I wasn't even thinking, you know, me being the originator of rap music. That's because I'm so humble. You understand what I'm saying? I, I was just happy to see people happy and stuff. But when they try to kill me, I said, damn, what? I had to figure it out. I said, damn, I am the motherfucking originator of rap. Real motherfucking talk and shit. I said, God damn, no wonder they trying to kill me. Look, if it affects them, they're going to come after you. And that's why they've been coming after me. For real, for real. But they go to crown right there. Proverbs chapter 4 and 9. It says, she shall give to thy head an ornament of grace. A crown of glory shall she deliver to thee. So until y'all give me my crown back, it is what it is and stuff. Real fucking talk. Now, verse 16, uh, chapter 6, Proverbs says, these six things doeth the Lord Hate, yea, seven are an abomination unto him. So that's six and seven. And I put, I was born in 1967. So they hate me. Why? Because I didn't figure out what they, you know, been trying to do to me. I'm the champion, real talk. You know what I'm saying? I'm the people's champ. I'm y'all last motherfucking goddamn hope besides my higher power, real talk. And, you know, it is what it is. Now this says, deliver thy as a row. I knew a person named Rochelle and... Alice, and you know what I'm saying, real talk, they were supposed to be friends or whatever, but, you know, they was all gold diggers and things of that nature, but I flipped it to Proverbs chapter 7, 8, and 9, right? You understand what I'm saying, but we're going to do 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It says, lust not after her beauty in thy heart, neither let her take thee with her eyelids. So, you know, my ex girlfriend, Lawan and George Jacob, stalked me for six months because I was making money, doing my own thing, had everything going on and stuff. And she was a stalker and she used her beauty to entrap me or whatever and stuff. But I knew in the end, you know, it was going to come down to, you know, uh, beauty is only skin deep by the uh, temptations and stuff. Yes, yeah, it's, it's all temptation and stuff. But, you know, I need love just like everybody else and stuff. And I knew it wasn't going to last long, but we had fun dancing with the devil. You understand what I'm saying? That's all she was, a she devil. You know what I mean? So right here, I got on uh, chapter 8, Proverbs chapter 8, right here, 36, it says, But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. All they that hate me love death. So if you hate me, you must love death. You understand what I'm saying? Eminem says, love spelled backwards is evil. I would have never known that had he not said it. And that's how it's got true. So he must know a little something about death and evil. You understand? Look, I'm a good person. You don't like me, it ain't my fault. You understand what I'm saying? Just know one thing. I'm the best at what I do. I can't do you. You understand what I'm saying? They be trying to give me a job. They trying to do this, trying to do that. You know, you gave me cancer. Don't you feel some kind of empathy? You understand what I'm saying? For real. Because the more you do to me, the more my higher power going to do until you do right by me. Everything you think of is going to fail. And that's not as kind of true. You can tell when a person is stealing, killing, and destroying, they ain't have it before, and all of a sudden they got it. Obama making a whole goddamn mess in my city, trying to overshadow me, trying to you know, overcompensate for the little penis he probably got. You understand what I'm saying? Real fucking talk. I'm telling you the honest guy is true. If it wasn't for me, he would have never been the president. And that's the honest guy's truth. They came and asked me if he was going to make because they figured I was going to change my mind. But I didn't. I stuck to, you know, me being me, a real motherfucker and shit. And in the end, he shitted on me. And that's why I know. In the end, he going to get it too. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. I don't speak this loud about something I don't know. And I told him that in 1995 also. So for the ones who are younger and don't understand how this works, just listen and learn and then remember what you've been through and then go back down memory lane and see what's happening. And if people coming after you, after you, after you, after you, after you for something, you know, and you got to check yourself and be like, it's the company you keep. Guilty by association. Figure out who your friends is and your family and stuff and see who's trying to cash in on you and shit. Because that's all they're trying to do with cash in and shit. Trying to run away with all that money. But they ain't going to get far. Because God going to stop all that shit before it happens and stuff. Real talk. And with that, it's your guy on News 20 Man. That's 20 Man Lee. Alex Haley, you was wrong. You was wrong trolling me and shit. That nigga was in debt. And he used me to get up out of that. And that's the honest God's truth. He might still be alive. Everybody they say is dead ain't dead. Remember that. Peace.